Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to talk about the components of the reciprocating chiller plan. First, we have the air handler. It's used to exchange heat with the ambient hair. Thermostat or humidity stat is used to maintain the ambient air condition. Here we have the chiller. Discharge service valve can be used to shut off gas discharging from the compressor. And then discharge service valve transducer measures high side pressure for the compressor. High pressure cutout shuts off the compressor in the event of high head pressure. Oil pressure transducer measures the oil pressure for the compressor. Oil plate. It covers the oil pump in the compressor. Oil service valve is used to uh, add oil or remove oil to the compressor. Oil temperature sensor measures the oil temperature in the compressor crankcase. Oil side glass over here to uh, monitor the oil level in the compressor. Cylinder unloader over here is uh, used to control capacity for compressor on the low low or startup. Suction service valve is used to uh, shut off vapor going to the compressor. Suction service valve transducer is to uh, measure uh, low side pressure. Uh, suction or low pressure cutout is the control switch uh, that causes the compressor to go on or off as required for normal operation. And here we have the suction line pressure relief valve. We release the refrigerant from the low side in case of fire. And this side is the second compressor. Everything the same. You just have to look through it. Over here we have the power switch provides electrical power to the chiller and also the electrical uh, to the heater for the oil sum of the compressors and uh, control panel display screen to uh, monitor and adjust the uh, pressure and set point for the unit and on the side we have the thermos thermostatic expansion valve it controls the refrigerant flow to the evaporator uh, we have the liquid line side glass. It shows the liquid refrigerant flowing in the circuit. And it also shows the moisture, if, uh, shows if the moisture is present in the system. So uh, we have the solenoid valve. The liquid line solenoid valve is used to uh, automatically pump down the unit. Here we have the liquid line filter dryer. This is the component that can cause restriction in the liquid line. Uh, liquid line service valve or King's valve is used to manually pump down the unit. This is the evaporator. This part right here is the evaporator. It, uh, it removes heat from the chill water. Over here we have the condenser pressure relief valve. It released uh, free, uh, release refrigerant from the high side in case of fire. And uh, at the bottom we have the condenser. This is the component that fits the expansion valve 
and also the component that exchange heat from high side refrigerant to the condenser water. Condenser water inlet the thermometer uh, shows the condenser water inlet temperature. Uh, condenser water inlet valve is used to shut off uh, water uh, entering the condenser. Condenser water strainer can cause a restriction to the water going into the condenser. And over here we have the condenser plug valve. It's used to uh, throttle or regulate the water flow in the condenser. And over here we have the condenser outlet valve. It's used to isolate the condenser from uh, the cooling tower. Over here we have the condenser water outlet thermometer which shows the condenser water outlet temperature. Over here we have the evaporator um, outlet valve. Uh, it's used to uh, shut off water returning to the air handler. Uh, evaporator inlet valve is used to uh, shut off water entering the evaporator. Uh, you have the chill water outlet and inlet thermometer. Shows the temperature of the water leaving in the leaving or entering the chill water. Okay, I think we're done with the chiller. Let's talk about the pumps. We have the chill water pump over here. So, chill water pump. Chill water pump suction gauge. It shows the pressure of chill water returning from the building. You uh, have the chill water discharge gauge. It shows the pressure of chill water discharging from the pump. The chill water pump inlet and outlet valve, inlet and outlet valve, is to isolate the pump from the chill water loop. You have the chill water pump strainer, is uh, used to prevent damage to the impeller in the chill water pump. And you should have a check valve over here, but this is insulated so you really can see. Don't know if they're going to ask you where is that, so it's going to be here. So here on the side, we have the the expansion tank, chill water expansion tank, uh, is used to uh, prevent cavitation in the chill water pumps. So let's talk about the condenser pumps. So similar like the chill water pump, we have the condenser pump suction gauge. We have the suction gauge that measures the pressure coming from the cooling tower. Condenser water pump uh, discharge gauge shows the pressure discharging from the pump. Condenser pump, uh, condenser water pump suction valve over here is uh, used to shut off water coming from the cooling tower condenser water pump check valve is used to prevent damage to the condenser water, uh, condenser pump during startup condenser water pump pad cup and so basically another valve over here is used to uh, prime the condenser pump during system startup and also you have the strainer here for the condenser water pump. And let's talk about the last part, the cooling tower. The cooling tower drain is used to uh, prevent water from freezing in the cool, uh, cooling tower during winter time. Uh, 
we have the cooling water inlet valve um, is used to isolate water entering the cooling tower this one and, and inlet valve and this is the cooling tower outlet valve is used to isolate water exiting the cooling tower uh, on the top we have the cooling tower fan uh, this is the component that extracts heat from the cooling tower and over here we have city water fill which is the makeup water supply valve it supplies water to the cooling tower when the level in the basin is low and this is the overflow for the basin I think I cover everything that you should need. Uh, feel, feel, feel free to uh, pose any question for this video. Uh, and I will start another video for um, the startup of um, reciprocating chile plant. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you. Bye bye.